No, I did, uh, to be honest, I didn't do anything different. Uh, when you're playing on a pitch like that, uh, we've spoken this many times before, that you need to have an intent. Uh, you need to look to score runs as well, uh, because you can't just keep blocking. Uh, as we saw, you know, odd ball might just turn, odd ball might, uh, odd, uh, ball might just get on, uh, onto the stumps if you play for the turn. Uh, so it's important uh, to keep that intent and you know try and use your feet, try and do as many things as possible, uh, you know, to stay ahead of the bowler's mindset because it's very very important when you're playing on a pitch which has lot to offer to the bowlers. You just need to be slightly ahead of the bowlers at times and need to make sure that you know you try and find ways to score runs. So I, all I was thinking was trying to find ways to score runs. My thought. Or my intent was not to survive. Uh, my intent was there to, uh, you know, try and score runs as well uh, while uh, respecting the good balls. Uh, so that's all I tried to do. Uh, you know, the pitch was, uh, it was an interesting one. Uh, odd ball was, like I said, odd ball was just coming in and some was taking turns. So uh, when you're batting on a wicket like that, you need to have a clear mindset and which probably I think I did uh, unless I, until I played that uh, sweep shot in the first inning. Amul Karadkar. Good. Uh, on a pitch like this, what is it that is required for any batsman to actually survive? And have you been a part of such a weird test match as such as No, I don't think so. I mean, uh, to be honest, uh, there is, on a pitch like that, I mean, which pitch didn't do anything. Uh, honestly speaking, if, if I look at and if I can recollect, a lot of the balls, you know, most of the batter got out was to a straighter delivery. Uh, you know, we also as a batting unit made a lot of mistakes uh, while batting. Uh, it's not just them, but we also didn't bat well in the first innings. Pitch had nothing uh, as such. No such demons as we call, uh, there was nothing like that. Uh, you know, it was nice, nice pitch to bat on once you are in. Uh, you know, you can score runs as well as we saw. Uh, but uh, again, you know, you just need to apply and keep concentrating on a pitch like that because, you know, it's important to find ways to score runs and to find and to score runs, you need, you need, to, you need more concentration uh, on a pitch like that. Shami Chakra. Rohit, hi. Uh, Rohit, uh, hi. batsmen like you remain exception. But do you agree that the skill set of the modern day, even for the modern day Indian batsmen, to play spin on difficult surfaces where the ball is starting sharply has fallen? Has fallen? Has fallen? Um, not, not really. I mean, if you if you look at uh, the Chennai test match, the second test match. I mean, it was it was turning a lot, hell of a lot than what it turned here, what it did here, uh, to be honest. And um, a lot of the batters got runs there in, in the second test match. Uh, like I said, in this test match, we have to be honest to ourselves and uh, accept that we didn't bat it well. Uh, but in Chennai, which had a lot, a lot more to offer than this pitch, we batted well on that pitch. You know, we learned from our mistakes. Uh, you know, guys applied themselves. We uh, Ashwin got 100. Uh, Ajinkya in the first innings got 50. Virat got uh, 60 odd uh, in the second innings. So, you know, if you apply yourself, you, you can still score runs. Uh, Panth, not to forget, uh, scored a 50 as well, if I'm not wrong. Uh, uh, so, one game, yes, we, we accept as a batting unit. In, in this test match, we didn't bat it as we would have liked to. But it is something that we need to just uh, take it to ourselves and get back to our drawing board and decide what we need to do when the ball is not spinning. Actually, it didn't spun. Uh, you know, most of the batters got out to a straight ball. So, we need to try and rectify those, those things. Katish Sina. Hey, uh, Jorut spoke about uh, the ping ball skidding on and how it was more difficult to play the pace rather than the spin. Mm. What do you, do you make of the ping ball? Yeah, I think uh, to be honest, yes, it 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 was it 
came to the bat a little more faster than the normal red ball uh, and it has got to do more with with the conditions uh, you know in the evening we all know it gets slightly uh, the temperature goes down uh, maybe a degree or two uh, and plus the dew factor as well uh, but again over and uh, all in, all in all uh, i think you know uh, the pace of the pink ball is slightly quicker than than the red ball so you, it is something that we need to adjust as quickly as possible uh, you know and understand what we need to do whenever we play the pink ball test match in india it is going to behave like that uh, we've played this is our second pink ball test uh, in india the first one we played against bangladesh uh, was a completely different conditions uh, there was a lot more grass on the pitch uh, and a lot of carry uh, and when we play outside india it's it's more assisted to the seamers uh, and you know we we pretty much I uh, had no idea what it's going to do to the spinners uh, so it was a good learning for us to understand okay this is this is the pace of the pink ball normal ball when you when you play the red ball it doesn't come so quick uh, to the bat but again we need to understand uh, and whenever we play the next one we need to understand that you know we need to adjust we need to do slight adjustment uh, when we play the pink ball Nimish Patel and then Amit Gupta i won't be able to give you the insights of how the kukabura ball the seam and all that shapes up and all, what about and how about the sg uh, pink ball um, but yeah i mean from from what i understand it it travels slightly quicker uh, when you're playing the spin bowling and obviously we all know it swings a little more than the red ball is there a, is there a kind of wicket where the team can justify getting out for 112 or 145 or 81 Uh, so can uh, can you can you put the only blame to the wicket only in any 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 circumstances can you put the blame on the wicket can you amit can you no, i'm saying generally can you put it down to wicket when such loss no yaar yeah, not really honestly speaking i mean if you look at if you look at the entire dismissal of uh, you know the 30 wickets that has been fallen i mean i don't see uh, anything that pitch did the batsman didn't you know apply the technique it is from our side also not just them but us also some of the shots uh, as a batting unit uh, we played were not up to the standards uh, and again i mean the pitch was completely fine I, it seems a very normal pitch to me uh you know it is a typical indian wicket where you know it'll turn odd ball might just come in that is what the indian wicket is all about uh and you know we just made mistakes from our side uh having to understand that which shots we need to play uh, which ball was coming in uh, whether to play cut shot or not whether to go over the top or not whether to sweep or not so those are the things you need to understand when you when you're playing on a pitch like that you know in chennai we saw every ball was turning from the rough and all that there was no rough here uh, you know uh, akshar got most of his wicket which was just kidding on to the pads uh, on the on to the stumps uh, and the batsman missed the line that's all very simple uh, to be honest uh, you know uh, and it, w- we did the same i mean some of the shots as a batting unit we also played were not uh, you know up to the skills that we have Uh, but it's a good learning we can understand from this that you know it was a ping ball uh, we haven't played spin so much with the ping ball so it was a good learning for for us as a batting unit whenever we play the next i think you know will be very well equipped uh, to handle that yes, we will now be taking last few questions devendra pandey no akshar was simply brilliant i mean we saw uh, you know just coming out from nowhere uh, 
you know in the squad is never easy and to perform as well is never easy first game he was out injured uh, he was slightly down uh, but then he came back bowled very well in chennai and then bowled very well here as well you know he understands the conditions really well uh, you know he uh, he knows how to vary the pace uh, and what lines to bowl which is very very important uh, as a bowler uh, to understand your line uh, to the right hander to the left hander is very important and i think what he did brilliantly uh, in this game was he made the batter play uh, most of the balls which is always important on a wicket like that which uh, you you never know which one is going to turn which one is going to come straight so on a wicket like that it is important to bowl stump to stump and i think he did that pretty well uh, like i said it goes it it all goes to his skill set uh, he's got solid skill set bowls little wider uh, from the crease and slightly uh, you know slingy action as well uh, so it makes batsmen's uh, you know uh, uh, eye line very difficult whether to leave or play so that is that is something uh, that makes him very very special that that skill set that he has final question now surendran sir हा इशांत शर्मा आमच्यासाठी एकदम म्हणजे वॉरियर सारखा आहे ही जेव्हा पण त्यांनी खेळलं आहे आमच्या बरोबर टीमनी काफी टीम आमची टीम काफी रिलाय करते त्याच्या स्किल सेटवर जो जे काय त्याच्याकडे आहे ते आम्हाला भरपूर हेल्प केलं आहे ओव्हरसीज कंडिशन्समध्ये इंडियन कंडिशन्समध्ये आणि शंभर टेस्ट मॅच खेळणं फास्ट बॉलरसाठी इझी नाही आहे त्यांनी भरपूर मेहनत केलं आहे त्याच्यासाठी आणि त्याला आता रिवॉर्ड भेटले आणि आम्ही सारे टीम आम्ही सगळे टीममेट त्याच्यासाठी भरपूर खुश खुश आहोत कारण की जसं मी सांगितलं की इझी नाही आहे शंभर टेस्ट मॅच खेळायचं आणि हे सगळं इंजरी वगैरे सगळं त्यांनी बाजूला ठेवलं मेहनत केलं भरपूर किती म्हणजे पास्टमध्ये त्याला इंजरी झालेलं काफी आणि ते ओव्हरकम केलं त्यांनी तर क्रेडिट देतो मी त्याच्यासाठी त्याला आणि आमचं टीम काफी म्हणजे भरपूर खुश आहोत त्याच्याबरोबर आणि अश्विन पण अश्विन इज प्रॉबेबली यु नो वन ऑफ वन ऑफ आर मॅच विनर्स इफ नॉट दी मॅच विनर ऑफ द इंडियन क्रिकेट हिस्ट्री इज डेफिनेटली अ मॅच विनर फॉर अस ही इज वन सो मेनी गेम्स फॉर अस यु नो सो गेटिंग टू दॅट माईल स्टोन ऑब्विसली यु नो बिग बिग कॉंग्रॅच्युलेशन्स टू हिम मस्ट बी व्हेरी यु नो ग्रेट फिलिंग फॉर हिम ॲज वेल टू डू दॅट इन हिज सेवन्टी सेवन्थ टेस्ट मॅच आय थिंक इफ आय एम नॉट रॉंग सेकंड फास्टेस्ट टू फोर हंड्रेड विच इज विच इज अ ग्रेट फीट आय थिंक you know hats off to him and not to forget his contribution with the bat in this series as well he's he's done remarkably well and obviously team relies on him a lot and akshar like i said i mean understands his bowling really well then he samajla line length kai takaycha hai stump to stump batsman la batsman la khelvaycha hai aplyala he samajla tani laukar ani te adjustment tani kele आणि अहमदाबादमध्ये एवढं त्याचा होम ग्राउंड आहे इकडे खेळला आहे तो भरपूर त्याला माहिती आहे विकेट कसं आहे काय करते विकेट तर त्यांनी ते युज केलं सॉलिड